Let me show you how to use price checking tools in PoE2, even if you use GeForce Now. First of all, you're going to have to get the script from Klopstock. Uh, it worked for PoE1, and he has a video guide explaining how to set it up properly. So first of all, do that, and then we're going to have to do a few adjustments uh, for it to work on PoE2. Once that's done, you're going to go and download Exiled Exchange 2, which is the equivalent of Awakened PoE Trade, uh, but for PoE2. Make sure to follow these instructions properly. So that means launching PoE2, uh, running uh, the program, and then closing again. That way it can generate the proper files. Uh, you can skip step six if you just use default settings. Um, but make sure to um, follow step seven correctly. I can show you how that's done. Basically, all you need to do is copy paste this line right here, which is a path. You're going to open your file explorer, paste it, and you should find the config file. If this isn't there, you haven't done these steps properly, so go back and do that. Once you find the config file, you can just edit it with Notepad. Control F, type in window title, just like this. Um, everything will be in the description. Find next, and once you find it, what's what comes right afterwards is Path of Exile 2. You have to delete the two, delete that space, and save. Now locate the script and edit it. Make sure you do that with the .au3 file. Click on view, add the line numbers. Now you're going to go line 179, which is this one. And what you're going to do is change um, this awakened PoE trade into exiled exchange two. And you're going to do the same <clears throat> for the awakened PoE trade right here. Now line 200, you're going to change awakened PoE trade to exiled exchange two. And I recommend deleting line 205 and changing exit, replacing it with return. And you can now save and close. Now you're going to have to locate two things. First of all, the PoE GFN config file, which is usually under My Games Path of Exile. And you're going to find the exiled exchange ex uh, executable file. This one uh, will vary. It depends where you saved it. Once you've got both of these, you're going to right click the config file and edit it. And here you're going to change this path. So you can delete the path. And you can copy the path in which your ex exiled exchange executable is. Put that there. Add a forward slash, and then the exact name of the program. There. And you can save that. You should now be able to just double click the script, and it will open the script and simultaneously open Exiled Exchange 2. Now, the last thing you have to do is calibrate. Uh, exiled Exchange to UI. So what I mean by that is, when you activate the script, pay attention to the mouse. You'll see that it clicks somewhere in the upper left corner. So it, click, it clicked automatically around here. Um, so what you have to do is Shift plus Space to open the Exiled Exchange UI. And you're going to place this price check Control plus V box exactly where the mouse clicks. So approximately there, let's try again. Okay, it has to be a little lower. 
There we go. Let's try again. And there we go. Now the mouse clicks uh, on the right spot and it works. It now opens. All credit goes to Kvan7 of Exiled Exchange 2, to Klopstock, the creator of the script. And if you need more information, there's a written guide on Reddit that will be in the description. If you have any more questions, feel free to let me know.